Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. The set that contains the highest number of different Wade Boggs cards is the 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame set. As the name implies, all the cards in that set feature a Hall of Famer. And 2005 just happens to be the year that Wade Boggs and Ryan Sandberg were elected to the Hall of Fame. Now, within that set, there are 228 different Wade Boggs cards, including 62 one of ones. Out of all those 228 different cards, I have 108. So I thought I would do a, another tabletop showcase showing off all my 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame cards. Now, to break down the set, in addition to the, I guess you can call them the base card, there are five other versions of cards. They're not really inserts, they're just other versions of a design within the 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame set. And that is Cooperstown Calling, Essential Enshrinement, Hallworthy, Seasons, and signs of Cooperstown. And to make matters worse, I guess, is that within each of those different uh, card designs, Wade Boggs is featured on three different cards. Uh, most of them, one of them in a Red Sox uniform, one in a Yankees, and one in a Devil Rays uniform. Uh, another one just has him in two different versions of a Red Sox uniform and a Yankees uniform. And then in the signs of Cooperstown, uh, he's matched up with either one other Hall of Famer, two other Hall of Famers, or I think even three or four other Hall of Famers. There's multiple levels. And within those, you have a base card, if you want to call it that, then an autographed version, then a material autograph, then a patch autograph of again, again of each version. So you can see how things add up pretty quickly to get to 228 different cards. So I'm gonna sort of turn the camera around and again do a tabletop showcase of all 108 of my 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame Wade Boggs cards. Here are all 108 of my 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame Wade Boggs cards. So we're going to start here over on the left. And we'll look at the, if you want to call them the base cards. Uh, the first one we have here out of 550. The green version here out of 200. The silver, I believe, out of 99, and then the gold out of 25. I do not have the one of one of that one. So the first grouping of cards is Cooperstown Collection. And we have the base. Now there's uh, three versions here of each uh, type of card. So we have uh, the regular here out of 50 with him on the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. Then we go to the green parallels, and it's hard to tell here, but the green, let's see if it picks up here, are out of 25. So I have the green of the Red Sox and Yankees. Then we go to the silver, silver are out of 15, and I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. And then the gold version out of five, I have the Devil Rays version. And I do have a one of one, uh, the platinum, and that is of the Yankees. Then we move to the autograph versions. Now sort of the base autograph are out of 25, and I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. The next parallel is the green, and I believe the green are out of 15. So hard to see that, there you go, 15. The greens are so hard to, to tell the serial numbers on, and they differ 
for each type of series here. So I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays, and then the Silver are out of 10. And these are all sticker autographs, unfortunately, but uh, the Yankees and the Devil Rays. And I do have a gold version of the Devil Rays out of five. All right, so that's the Cooperstown. Oh, actually, there's more Cooperstown collection. <laughs> now we go to the material autograph. And these start off with the green, and they are out of 15. So those are the only, they don't have a uh, regular version. So I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. Then we go to the Silver Parallels out of 10. The Yankee, the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. I do have a gold of the Devil Rays out of five. And then finally, we have the autograph patch cards. And these greens are out of 10, I believe. Yep, out of 10. And unfortunately, I don't have any of the Red Sox here, but the uh, I have the Yankees and the Double Rays, and then the Silver is actually out of five. And I think that's the Silver, is that the Gold? It's hard to tell. I think that's the, that's, that's the Silver out of five. Now we move to the next group of inserts, the Essential Enshrinement. And you can see they have just a different uh, color foil image there. And again, these are the base out of 50. And I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. Then we move to the Silver Parallel out of 15. The Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. And then the Gold out of five, the Red Sox and the Yankees. Now, of course, we move to the autograph versions. Oh, here we go. Uh, these bases are out of 25, so the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. The Silvers are out of 15. I had the Yank uh, Red Sox and Yankees. I'm missing the Devil Rays. Then for the gold parallels, they are out of five. I have the Yankees and the Devil Rays. Now we're moving to the material autograph. We have the silver here out of 15. We have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. And then there's the gold versions out of five. And I have the, well, actually that one should be right there to line everything up. And then we have the autograph patch. The silver are out of 10. I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. And then the gold version out of five, I have the Devil Rays. All right, moving on to the third version or parallel. There's so many versions here. These are the, um, Hall-worthy uh, inserts. And these are the base there out of 50. And this one has, again, the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. Then we have the silver versions out of 15. Red Sox, Yankees, Devil Rays. And the gold version out of five. I have the Red Sox and the Devil Rays. Now, of course, they have autograph versions. Uh, these base are out of 25. I have the Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. Then the silver out of 15. I have all three as well. And then we get to the gold out of five. And I'm missing the Yankees. So I have the Red Sox and the Devil Rays. Moving up here. Now we're getting into the... Material autographs, I'm missing the Devil Rays. They are out of 15. So I have the Red Sox and Yankees there. Then we have the Gold out of five. Again, the Red Sox and Yankees missing the Devil Rays. 
And then moving into the autograph patches, here I'm missing the Red Sox. So I have the Yankees and Devil Rays, that's out of 10. It's interesting that both the Yankees and Devil Rays have a Red Sox patch to them. And then the gold out of five. That's one of my favorite cards, I think, out of this entire uh, Upper Deck Hall of Fame set. I think that is probably my favorite card. These are out of five, and of course I have the Devil Rays. And again, Red Sox patch on a Devil Rays card. Now we're moving to the final, uh, the fourth sort of parallel or grouping. Uh, these are Hall of Fame seasons. Now what's interesting about the seasons is there is not a Red Sox, Yankees, and Devil Rays. There are two versions of the Red Sox card and a Yankees. I don't know why they switched it up um, and not do all three teams. I don't know, but these are the base here out of 50. I have both Red Sox versions. Then the silver, I have both or all three of the uh, the two Red Sox and the Yankees. And then the gold out of five, I have the Red Sox, the one Red Sox and the one Yankees. And of course, they have autograph versions. So these base autographs are out of 25. So I have the one Red Sox and the Yankee. The silver versions are out of 15. I have all three of those. And I do have one of the golds out of five, the one Red Sox there. Then out of, oh, and I actually have two of the one of ones, both of the Red Sox ones. So that's the platinum version there. So I only have three one of ones. Obviously all of these that you see here, all these versions have one of ones, but I only have three. Now we get into the material autograph. Out of 15, I have that one Red Sox and the Yankee version. Uh, don't have any of the golds. So now we're moving to the patches. So I have the silver version out of 10 for all three. And the gold for the, out of five for the two Red Sox ones. And then finally, there's actually technically a fifth called uh, uh, Signs of Cooperstown. And here is a base with uh, Wade Boggs and Bobby Doerr. That one is serial numbered out of 50. Then there's a silver version out of 15. And a gold version out of five. Now, there's two. So out of, uh, there's one with the with Boggs and Bobby Doerr. And then there's one with Boggs and Ryan Sandberg, both of the class of 2005. So I do have the silver version of both of those. I don't have the base out of 50, but there's an autograph version for both of these. And this is sort of the base, and you can't quite tell the serial number there, there, out of 20. This is 20 out of 20. I picked that one up at one of the nationals, I think maybe the 2019 national I managed to find that out in Chicago. So there you are, all 108, 2005, Upper Deck, Hall of Fame, Wade Balls cards. I hope you enjoyed the look at all of my 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame Wade Balls cards. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing these uh, tabletop showcases. Uh, an upcoming one, I want to do uh, all my tops triple threads cards. And I think there are a few other sets that I have uh, a good number of Wade Boggs cards, uh, either within a particular set or a uh, particular set over various years uh, that they were issued. Uh, so looking forward to uh, doing some of them. If you have a set uh, that you know of that has uh, 
weight balls uh, cards in it and you'd like me to do a tabletop showcase of that particular set, let me know in the comments. And of course, would love to know what you think about the 2005 Upper Deck Hall of Fame cards that I showed off. And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.